Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm doing okay, too. Thank you. <laughs> yes. How are you, Guillermo? I'm good. Thank you for asking, teacher. Good. Ovidio, how was your day? Uh, it was right, teacher. Okay, good. Eduardo, how are you? Good evening, mister. I'm fine. I went I went to my town today. Oh, what is your town? Santana. Oh, Santana. Santana. The city? <laughs> yeah, I'm from Santana. Santana, the city? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I say town. Yeah, yeah, just for kidding. Okay. Yeah, um city. what what part of Santana are you from? Santana, Santana, mm. the center of Santana. Oh, downtown center. Santana. Yeah, 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 the city. Yeah. I, okay. say, I, I say town, but the city. <laughs> okay. So I like Santana. Santana is a nice place. Yes. Yes, yes it is. They got some, well, uh, they, there's a lot of history in Santana. Oh. Yeah. A lot of when, history. When, 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 when but that uh, was before, before, before when, when the when the when the grace was was called. When the who? The the the, the coffee grace was was gold. You mean coffee the grace? You, 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 oh, the coffee grace. Uh, you understand what, what? Yeah, was gold. Okay. No, you you know you understand what I mean. What, what is what I say, isn't it? I do, I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you I understand? understand what you're saying, okay. of course. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, when the, when, the, when the coffee gray was gold, now it's not. Okay, yeah. When, no. that, that, that means that when, when the coffee costs a lot. No. It's in the... when, when, okay. When, when, when the grain of coffee costs a lot of money. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love coffee. Yeah, now it's... Now it's yeah, Thank but you. now it's now it's it's it's, it's, it's more and more. <laughs> it's not the same. No, not the same. No, okay. it's not a good business. That, 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 that's why Santana is going down. Okay. Yeah, Santana has uh, a, a lot of people with money. Yes. Yeah, had before, 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 before. <laughs> Used to have before, before. Ah, but but still, there, there are people that are very wealthy in Santana. <laughs> Anyways, all well, right. So welcome yeah. back. Uh, what is today's date? Today is Tuesday, November eighth. 2020, teacher. Yes, Tuesday, December 8, December. 2020. Ah, this, December, yes, yeah, sorry. And, and, December. What did you, and what did you say, uh, Bersabe? Uh, no, I I said uh, November. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So, yes, it's December 8. 8. Yes. Yeah, so, how many more days for Christmas? Mm, like 16 days? Yeah, 16 days yeah, to 16 be very days, exact. Yeah. Two mm -hmm. weeks. Yes, 16 oh. days, yes. I remember oh. when I was a kid, how do you say cuetes in English? Fire Firecrackers. Fire Firecrackers. Fire Firecrackers. Firecrackers. Yeah. Because they crack. They crack. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, like uh, like 44, 43 years ago, uh, I used to hear firecrackers in October. Yeah. October. November, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. October and November. And now, look, it's, yeah, it's two weeks from Christmas, and I, I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. I, yeah, so uh, Catholics right now uh, today uh, celebrated the day of the Virgin. I don't know how to say in English, teacher. Immaculada Concepción. No. Oh, okay, okay. In, in, yes. 
Okay. The Virgin, Virgin of Guadalupe is uh, the December 12th. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I heard today at night firecrackers, a lot of. Really? And yes, in Santa Tecla, because there is a, a, a church. Right. Uh, yes. Right. Yes, uh, the Catholic Church, when they are celebrating something, they usually use firecrackers. That is true. Uh, I, I hear here in Lourdes, sometimes I hear firecrackers, and I know that they either belong to the Catholic Church or City Hall, because City Hall is doing something, yes. but uh, but not civilians, not civilians. So anyway, so let's begin. Uh, do you remember the topics we spoke about yesterday? Uh, models in the past, used to, could to. Um, let me see. Yes, you guys were talking about uh, the different activities you guys did on the on the weekend. And when you're talking yes. about something that is finished, you use simple past, past continuous, used to, uh, with different options. And then we were speaking about time we're as well. About time as well, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Any questions? I can help it. Yeah, I can help it. What's the meaning of that expression? Oh, yeah. No lo puedo evitar. Exactly. I can't help it. I can't I help. Can help it. Yes. Okay. So um, let's start with the first activity. It's a listening activity. See this here. Okay. So what I want you to do is listen to the audio and pay attention to see how much uh, you understand. Give me a second. Okay. I'm going to mute everybody so we don't have any interruptions. Uh, mute. And here we go. Pay attention. Take notes if you can take notes. Listen to Maria and Ian talk about life in Sydney. Who seems to enjoy living there more? How do you enjoy living in Sydney, Maria? I love it. I lived in a little mountain town in the U.S. before I moved here, so I'm really enjoying Sydney life. And the climate is great most of the year. What do you like most about it? Well, for one thing, it's a very easy city to get around. The public transportation is pretty good which is important for me because I don't have a car. So, you see, I use buses and trains most of the time. I can usually get wherever I want to pretty easily. How about you, Ian? Well, it's a very beautiful city. I love the harbor and the opera house. And the beaches are great, of course. Oh, yeah, the beaches are great. There are great beaches close to town, like Bondi Beach. I know, it's true. But I don't have a lot of time to go to the beach because I have to work two jobs to make enough money to pay the rent. Actually, I'd really prefer to live somewhere smaller. I find Sydney too fast, too noisy, and definitely too expensive. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky, but my rent's not bad at all. Actually, since I'm splitting the rent with two roommates now, it's about the same as I was paying in the U.S. And, um, yeah, I love the nightlife here, too. On weekends, my friends and I usually go to a club or a place with live music. There's always something interesting going on downtown. I've made lots of friends since I moved here. That's great. Ian, what do you do for fun in Sydney? Well, not much, I'm afraid. It's so expensive to do anything here. Also, you know because of the high rents, I can only afford to live out in the suburbs. And there isn't much happening out there, believe me. Hmm... I guess once in a while I like to go to Chinatown, though. There are plenty of restaurants there where you can eat fairly cheaply. Good ones, too. Is that right? I can't seem to find cheap food anywhere. In fact, the restaurants near me are so pricey that I hardly ever eat out. All right, here's a question. If you could change one thing about the city, what would it be? The traffic, without a doubt. I used to drive back in my hometown, but I hardly ever drive here. 
there are far too many cars and drivers are very aggressive. You have to know where you're going and you have to drive fast, otherwise other drivers can be really rude. See, I don't have a car, so that doesn't really bother me. Actually, you know, I wouldn't change anything. It's so much better here than the tiny little town where I used to live. I don't know. Sometimes I think life is better back home. Sure, it's smaller, but it's easier to live a good life. And you get to know the people better, too. Okay, let me open uh, the exercise. How much did you understand? It seems Maria really loves to live in Sydney. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, what about the guy? What did he say? Ian thinks that uh, Ren is very expensive. He doesn't like go out to have some fun. Um, he likes restaurants, I think. Okay, good. He yeah, likes he beaches. Okay. Since that is a fast city, he would prefer to live in a small town. Okay. Someone else? Uh, Mariah... Uh use public transportation she doesn't have a car uh-huh uh, she she consider restaurant are a, a <clears throat> pricing for okay. ian for ian and maria beaches are great okay good mm -hmm. someone else maria likes uh, go out to the nightclubs on weekends go with her friends good what else? Mm. Ian doesn't like the traffic. Okay. He's very, he's very aggressive. Uh, he's, aggressive? He's and hardly. And yeah, hardly the too. drivers mm -hmm. are very aggressive. Yeah. Okay. Rude. All right. Good. Okay, good, good. All right. So, um, so we listen to the first part and it says, who seems to enjoy living there more? Is it Maria or, or Ian? Maria. 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 Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Which person has these opinions? It's easy to get around Sydney. Maria. 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 Yeah. Or both. No. Okay. Well, I said it was Maria. Okay. We will check the answer. The beaches are great. Who thinks that? Both. 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 Okay. Both. both. The rents are expensive. Mm. Ian. Yes. Ian. 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 Okay. It's a fun place to live. Maria. 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 Okay. Yes. The Maria. restaurants are all expensive. Maria. Uh, Maria. Maria. Yeah. Maria. Okay. Life is better in smaller town. Ian. 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 Okay. Let's see if your answers were good. There, 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 there. All your answers were good. Nice. You have you have very good students, teacher. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes, of course you guys are good students. Good. Any questions about the listening? What's the capital of Australia anyways? It's not Sydney. No, it's no, I don't it's Melbourne. Uh, no. no. It starts with letter C. Canberra, I think. Yeah, Canberra. Yeah, Canberra. Yeah, Canberra is, is the capital of Sydney, uh, of the capital of Australia. Sydney is the most important city, but uh, uh, but it's not the capital. It's not like Santana here. Okay. <laughs> Canberra. <laughs> yeah, Canberra. Now, if we talk about animals, what, what is the symbol of Australia? Kangaroo. 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 and what? What else? Koalas. Koalas. Koalas, Koalas right. yes. Right, exactly. I, 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 don't, I don't remember the name of the a kind, an animal look, that looks like a dog. Uh, Tasmania? Uh, no. no. No, it's dingoes. No. I think. Dingo. Yes, Thank yes. You. yes. Yeah. No, what is the name? Dingo. Dingo. No. It's like no. a wild dog. Yeah, dingo. Like a wild dog, yeah. 
Dingo, mm -hmm. huh? Dingo? Most first wild, first yeah, time uh -huh. I hear Airbird. that word. Let me let me look for that word. Dingo. No, there is another it, animal, it, but it's I dingo, don't remember. Dingo, dingo, with a D. Okay, D as in diamond. Dingo, let's check. <laughs> oh, it, it's it's like a wild dog. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it says uh, a wild or half domesticated dog with a sandy color coat found in Australia. Yeah, it looks like uh, aguacateros that we have here. <laughs> yeah. Like, but they're Mayan wild. It's, it's like a Mayan shepherd. <laughs> okay, a, a Mayan shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. I just knew about the koalas, the, the kangaroos. The Tasmania and but this is new for me. All right, good, good. Okay, any questions about the listening? No. No, sir. Was okay. very not really. Okay, so let me look for the reading. My goodness, where was the reading? Oh, it's right here. It's loading, it's loading. And maybe it's taking too long. Mm -hmm. yes, Teacher, thank, thank you, you for the answer. For oh, the answer okay. in the exercise <laughs> 3.5. Very difficult, believe me. Okay. Very impossible, I suppose. <laughs> Why why was it impossible to get the right answer? Uh, mm. There were many possibilities. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay, so let me right here. Huh. Okay. Can you see the reading? More or less. Mm. No. Blurry. Yes, blurry. right now, yes. It's kind of blurry. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it, it is blurry. You know, I tried to find the original text, but I couldn't. So okay, do you think it's possible to read that information? Um, yes, teacher, yes. <laughs> okay, let me see this here. Okay. I think I, I need my I, glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, my my vision is not the best. I cannot read without my glasses. So I thought, so my, I thought that it was uh, my vision. No, it's, it's the quality of the of the of the article. Okay, okay. So I need a volunteer to read the first part, please. Me, please. Okay, go ahead, Versave. Okay, Sydney has its opera house and harbor. Melbourne has quaint old buildings and parks. Sydney has spectacular beaches, but Melbourne's are less crowded. Talk to Melbournians uh -huh. and they say their city is best. Talk to Sydney siders and they'll say Sydney is the number one place to live. All right, good, thank you. Any questions there? They they are rivals. Uh, rivals. Rivals. They they are rivals. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are is all the vocabulary clear in the first part that uh Beresove just read? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Good. So I need another volunteer to read the second part. According. Mm -hmm. Just one, just one. Okay, I will do it. I will do it. Okay, go, go okay. ahead, anybody, anybody. Okay, according to many Melbournians. Inhabitants. In, in, inhabitants live I can I can see wait. I'm sorry, uh, teacher. Yes. Excuse me, Eduardo. 
excuse me, uh, may I share my screen? I have a different oh, screen. Oh, please, for this. please, go ahead. Yeah, because I could, I don't see too much. We're, we really appreciate it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not, not us, our eyes really appreciate it. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> I, I just Our vision is really thankful with you, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, just, just please stop the sharing your Okay, okay, screen. right now, right now. Thank you. Thank you, let me try. Please let me know if yeah that's better, better. Yeah. Yeah, yes. much better. Yeah, much it's better. better. Okay. Okay, Thank go you. ahead, Eduardo. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. According okay. to according to many Melbournians in, inhabitants inhabitants. Live, inhabitants live a life of ideas, discussions and debate. People are active in the arts and live well. Then again, that's what Sydney Siders Sydney Siders say about the city too. Thank you. Any questions about what um, Eduardo just read? No. No. Okay, another volunteer to read, please. No way. Talk to okay. Melbournians. Okay. Talk. Talk to Melbourneans, and they tell you their city has friendlier and more outgoing people than Sydney. Most Sydney siders won't disagree about their city being less friendly. Nevertheless, they'll be quick to tell you that it's a dynamic, world-class city with tons of things to do and see. Sydney siders say they always busy enjoying all that their city offers, <clears throat> such a I, such as the crashing surf at my, Bondi. My menu is is blocking the the pitch. I I, I um, busy enjoying the all that their city offers, such as the crashing surf at Bondi. Uh-huh. Bronte? Bronte or mainly beaches, bushwalks throughout the Sydney Harbour National Park or browsing in Paddington's colorful weekend market. Thank you. Any questions about the part Noe just read? Brush, brush walks. Bush walks. Bush walks. Bush walks. Uh, uh, bush, bush walks. Yeah, bush. bush walks. What is a bush? What's a bush? Like a little tree? Yeah. Yeah. Tree. Yeah. In the wall? In the wall? Yeah. yeah, plants. Plants. Mm -hmm. Plants. Ants. Yeah, plants. Uh, plants. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Mm, let me see. Let me see. Mm, no. 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 Okay, another volunteer to read the next part. People in downtown. I will do it. Go ahead, Guillermo. People in downtown Sydney are always on the move, rushing to make contacts, calling you, and getting in the In Melbourne, eating out its pastime, and the pace of life is slower than easier and easier. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Guillermo. Keep reading, please. Uh, I, I put everybody on, on mute. Guillermo? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Keep okay, reading, uh, I will start over again. Uh, okay, please. People in downtown Sydney are always on the move, rushing to make contacts, cutting deals, and gaining influence. In Melbourne, eating out is pastime and the pace of life is slower and easier. Go ahead. Melbourne may not have the great surfing on Sydney, the beautiful Darling Harbour or the Opera House. Instead, it's low. Low you know, key? Low key, I'm sorry. Low key and savvy. Yeah, I got lost. My bad. Okay. 
All right, good, thank you. It's loading. Yeah, key and save. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Any questions about the part uh, Guillermo just read? What is the meaning of savvy? Savvy, does anybody know the meaning of savvy? Like uh, if you apply in a call center, you need to be tech savvy. Savvy uh, makes reference to somebody. Uh -huh. Understand something. Exactly. Savvy is that you have knowledge or you are practical about particular topics. Mm -hmm. Savvy is like saying conocedor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? What's the uh, low low key teacher? Sorry. Low key. Does anybody know the meaning of low key? Low key means quiet. Ah, uh, quiet. Yeah, yeah. So they're describing a place as being quiet and practical. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Uh, what does mean Russian? Uh, moving fast, apresurándose. Okay, yep. thank you teacher. Good. Anybody else? Moving fast. Okay, and the last volunteer, please. You have to dig a little to anybody. Mm. Ovidio. Is Ovidio here? <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead. Okay. The beautiful Garden Harbor or the Opera House Instead, it's low key and savvy. You have to 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 die and a little to get under it surface surface. Uh -huh. But once there, you you'll find a perfect example of a of a chick. With a modern city, Sydney looks internationally for inspiration, but Melbourne tends to look regionally to Japan. For example, mm -hmm. in a war, if you were to compare them to American cities, Sydney will be sunny LA and Melbourne will be charming New York. Good, thank you. Okay. Anything else? Any questions about what just uh, Ovidio read? What is dig? Dig, uh, when you go to the beach and you go with your children, they dig uh, the sand, make holes in the sand. When you go to a cemetery to say goodbye to a person, uh, workers first they dig. With shovels. With shovels, exactly. Make holes. Yeah, they make holes. Yeah, excavar. Dig or die? Dig, die. dig, dig. 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 Okay. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Chair? What is it? In the, in the park, uh, you'll find a perfect example of a chick ultra modern city, yep. chic, what, what does that mean? Okay, chic makes reference to elegant, elegance. For appearance. Yeah, appearance, exactly. Okay. Like, fa like fashionist? Yeah, mm -hmm. elegant, uh, fashionist, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, people? No? No, teacher. Okay, so those are um, aspects uh, about Australia. Has anybody ever visited Australia here? No. No? Me, no. Okay. I don't. I want to. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's, it's, so a, it's, a, it's a nice destiny. Yeah, it's far. Yeah. It's far. It's really far.
Yeah, and there is a good um, Salvadorian community there. Salvadorians that left during the conflict, uh, they arrived in Australia and they settled there. Some of them never came back. They never returned. Yeah, they make kangaroo pupusas. Yeah. <laughs> Boxing pupusas. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so if you don't have any questions, uh, let me... Let's go back. Uh -huh. May I stop to share? Yes, thank you, Carlos. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. That really helped our vision. <laughs> yeah. So you were like, Francisco, what have we done to you? You're, you're making us suffer with this uh, type <laughs> of reading. All right. So we're talking about cities. Uh, now it's time to speak about transportation uh, what is your opinion about public transportation in El Salvador not good no, not a good opinion uh -huh. yeah, yeah that is that is uh, that is our reality yeah it, it's not I mean there has to be uh, uh, many changes many changes in, in, in public transportation yep Okay, yes. can you can you see the questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Um, so you can hear in the or do you want a picture? Okay, I'll send you guys a picture. Nine to ten, nine to ten. Where are you guys? Teacher. Yes. I have a little problem. Need to take some minutes to attend my mom. I will return. Sure, no problem, no problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, good. So let me make the pair so you guys can talk about um our public transportation, create rooms. Ha ha ha, Bersabe, I have to move her. She's not going to be here for a couple of minutes, I think. So I will make these changes and here we go. Drivers um, follow the rules because it's not that we don't have uh, rules that regulate the public transportation. It's just that they just break them up. Well, there are rules. The problem is we don't have a culture to obey that rules. Yep. I think we need to change the, the whole transportation. 
we need we need to uh, to change the 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 way or methods we are uh, are doing or transport transport the, the, the people because it is there are many many cars in on on the streets yes yes i think the streets were not planned to have a lot of cars <laughs> going everywhere yeah that is one of the main issues However, it's very difficult to change this uh, kind of things here, I think, because they are not business. Uh, transportation men are just worried about making money, not providing a good service. Exactly. Yeah, it's very difficult to think that that is going to change in a few years. Mm -hmm. maybe. I think we need to change. Uh, I I I prefer, for example, our uh, our, our subway or train, where you can move a lot of people and not uh, 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 many uh, buses. Yeah, that would be a good option, definitely. Mm -hmm. I really like to travel in in, in a boat. And you don't the and it's you don't relaxing. Get, yes, exactly. And sorry, Jose. And when you and you don't get nauseous. Uh, not at all. Uh, I maybe no, never, never. For me, okay. it's, it's it's like normal. Maybe I don't know. I kind of weird, but never. I never got uh, nauseous or or anything else, anything like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you? Mm, i never been in a boat. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, go ahead with the number three. Uh, what transportation problems are there in your country? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, uh, every day there, there is a lot of traffic, especially at... Uh, 7 a.m. or uh, 5 p.m., for example. Uh, so I think the traffic is the most important problem, <laughs> uh, at least in El Salvador. Okay. Okay, I agree. W uh, with transportation, uh, only with transportation, because we have another uh, problems, right? <laughs> of course. Okay. And I think that in public transportation, it can also be a problem, the, the safety, and can be also danger for, for us. Exactly. Uh, the traffic jams, um, the, the delinquency, uh, the pollution, for example, uh, it, it's hard, I think. Not just in our country, maybe in every country in the world. Yes, of course. Yes, totally. Hi, guys. Hello. I'm here. Hi, Bersabe. Hi, hi. And uh, in, in which uh, question? We are, uh, in, we in are number, in number three. Number three. Let, yes. me, let me check. Number three. Okay. Uh, what? Transportation problems are there in your country? Oh, very bad transportation. <laughs> okay. Um, what about uh, what do you what do you think about this? Or do you answer? Friend? Uh, well, we talk about uh, the traffic jams, uh, the pollution, mm -hmm. the, the delinquency. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have several uh, yes. issues with the transportation. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And number four, what will the transportation of the future be like? Mm -hmm. 
Number seven. What do you think of the transportation in other countries? Well, I think in what I've what I have seen in other places, for example, in USA, the transportation is much better than here. Definitely much better than here, and also they they are, they also have trains that are much better. Yes, it's true. Most of the countries are more advanced with the transportation. And well, I think our country in the countries near to us uh, are not still uh, with that transportation that other countries have. Yeah. Now we are, which one? Which number? Nine. Eight. Okay, okay, eight. How many different kinds of transportation have you been on? Well, uh, well in my case, I only been in car, mm, bus, and bicycle and chip, but it's, it's like a boat, boat. And I, only that, I think. What about you? How many different kind of transportations have you been on? Okay, in my case, I have been transportation, bicycle, car, motorcycle, bus, train, I have been towards train, and an airplane. That's it. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, number nine. Will the quality of transportation in your country get better or worse? I hope I hope that get better soon sooner someday. Yes, I, I hope that's the same. It it will be the. I think it will be better. I hope. Yeah. Number ten. What? was transportation like when you were a kid? Well, I think I haven't seen any change yet. Yes, I, in my case, I, I don't see any change. I think it's uh, the same, or I, that's, that's how I see the things in or transportation. Maybe, or maybe yeah. we, we are still they are still using the, the same buses. <laughs> yes, sir. In short time, maybe yeah. in the future, even we are not alive at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably we will not. Yeah. Okay, would you like to ask the, the next, next question? The mm -hmm. question in our concept. I don't understand. What, what will life be what like will in, life your be? in your country? So, I mean, if the they stop to providing the service, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what happened uh, recently with the pandemic, there oh, were like okay. two or three if days. If they don't give the service. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, it's very difficult because yeah. we can see that situation in the pandemic when they are not working 
many people well, has to has to walk, walk. for their mm -hmm. work er, or travel by by cars a very crowded yeah were you working by that it time it was very Yes, I was working, but I yeah, I, I used my car. Very hard. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you have the the advantage to yeah, having a car that which is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it was but very chaotic. I think. That yeah, it was very chaotic because I have a I I I so I watched some news about that, and you will see uh, many people trying to get their jobs or something like that they were walking on the street saying that they were tired and yeah. frustrated because the situation it was very difficult for those who yeah. had to go um, their work for example many people at that time doesn't have a, a formal job or they are they were beginning to 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 job yeah. and the problem was that if they're not, they're, there are not public transportation, they have to pay, for example, in a car, for example, my brother, uh, he began to work at May, I think, May, mm -hmm. and they joined with other, with other partners to make carpooling. No, but yeah, yeah. In public transportation, they have to pay $1. And mm -hmm. by pulling car pulling, they have to pay five dollars. Wow, it's oh. so yes. expensive. Yeah, very big difference. Yes, a big difference. Yeah. Okay, would you like to ask the next question, Ovidio? Okay. Are you happy with transportation service in your country? <laughs> oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> very yeah. happy but it's yeah. only only one we have oh, yes yeah okay even though if i'm doing a a long trip i prefer to take a bus like i mentioned maybe mm -hmm. if i'm going yes. to santana or some yeah, something like that and i'm not taking any anything with me i prefer to do it by bus yeah they are comfortable. Yeah. For example, I am, I am happy with 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 the buses for to a what a Wachapan because oh. I travel to to Wachapan mm -hmm. and I use a special service. Mm -hmm. The buses are very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. they have air conditioner. We have Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's right. The seats are very comfortable. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, they, yes, movies. Yeah. they play movies. I prefer, I prefer sleep. <laughs> okay. Very old movies, but <laughs> they <Yes>. play movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me continue with the next question. Uh, what do you think of the transportation mm. in other countries? I, in... In developed countries, uh, public transportation is very safety and is very fast and is very modern. Yeah, correct. Uh, however, I think in Latin America, all countries have the same issue with the public transportation. At least that's what we can see. For example, if we watch some uh, TV shows or that uh, are filmed in Latin American countries, for example, Mexico, Guatemala, or something like that. They have the the, the same problems. Yeah, the, pretty much. The it's very similar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very similar. Very similar situation. I think Costa Rica. Costa Rica is is the yeah is, is the that is, only one that have yeah. a better public transportation. Absolutely, because that I is, had the opportunity. Use mm -hmm. that, that service in, in Costa Rica, and it's very safety. For example, they use the the capacity of the buses, not like like in El Salvador that people are are hanging in the doors. Yeah, absolutely. That is uh, one of the exceptions in Central America because I had the opportunity to were there in 
last this last February, and you are right. So, but as you mentioned at the beginning, it, it is about culture because people there is they yes. get used to do it on that way. So, for example, there are special seats for handicapped and elderly people, and they also respect the capacity. We a lot okay. of money. So the public <sighs> to Brazil <laughs> is getting worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. Yes. Our wasting or our money. <laughs> yes. Yes, ex. So yes. Okay. okay, number 10. What was transportation like when you were a kid? <laughs> I I knew only the the public transportation and I when I was a kid, yes, only, only, po ah, there's a, there's like six places where cars can go from one side to the other, and they shoot like half of the space. So in those two or three years, that was horrible. So it's, that was similar when uh, obras públicas rebuilt the the, the 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 highway los chorros oh yeah exactly the, the same that the, that uh, took like four or five months but it was it was very terrible because they they closed um two or three uh, uh, roads Mm -hmm. I don't know if if Rose is correct to say carriles, mm -hmm. but they they close uh, two or three roads. Lanes, lanes, lanes. Oh, lanes. Yes, correct. Thank you. Lanes, and and they left one or two lines to 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 the traffic. So that was terrible, terrible. <laughs> really pain yeah I'm, I'm thinking in the in the number five it say what will life be like if all public transportation in your country stop that happened a lot i think every year has something happened for at least in 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 a, in a place for example i live in uh, i don't know let's say uh, Mexicanos, for example, mm -hmm. and suddenly something happened and all public transportation is stopped. Here the question is about, oh, I think all country, but anyway, if you live in the place where public transportation is stopped, I think that that will happen the exact thing in, in everywhere in the country. Yeah, 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 uh, you're right, because here that, uh, it it's been a uh, it's been a uh, done. Uh, the public transportation uh, uh, has stopped. Uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions or comments about public transportation? No. No. Okay. How do you say alcalde in English? Mayor. 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 Yes. If you were the mayor of a place in El Salvador, how would you improve transportation? Maybe as a mayor, you can't improve the transportation because you don't have the, the power. The right. The power. Yeah. Okay. But at, but at least you can improve the streets. Okay. Right now, it's a lot of the districts. Uh, Very crowded. Or crowded, or yeah. many little stores. Um, full of, full of bombs. Bomb. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe you could organize the transportation routes they used to travel around the city or right. the city. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. the stations, the ones we call puntos, you know, like usually they're very messy, no organization. So maybe the mayor could interfere there, you know. Okay, so uh, if you don't have any questions or comments, we're going to stop here. 
Thanks again for your time, and we continue tomorrow, 9 p.m. Have a good night. Thank you, you too, teacher. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.